Once power has traveled through a wire to light a light bulb, it still has to go somewhere. White wires carry the power back to the panel where they're connected to the neutral bus bar. Then it connects the bus bar to the place electricity loves best, the ground. The actual connection may be a rod driven in the ground, the water system, or a plate set in the foundation. It doesn't matter. The ground has infinite capacity for absorbing electricity. This path to ground is an important part of the circuit. Were it not there, the electricity would need another path. In the days before outlets had a ground prong, the homeowner stood a good chance of becoming the path to ground. A loose wire could charge stoves, refrigerators, dryers, portable tools, radios, almost anything, with electrons looking for a place to go. If you touched a charged surface, you almost automatically became the path of least resistance. Power would flow through you the same way it flows through this meter. To say the least, you were in for a good shock, if not a fatal one. Enter the practice of grounding. Between you and the panel, every outlet, switch, and light should be continuously connected to the grounded neutral bus bar. A green wire and the third prong in the outlet connects the metal parts and things like air conditioners to those grounded wires. If a wire becomes loose in your refrigerator and touches the metal, the electricity immediately runs to ground through the green wire and does it with such a force that it trips the breaker. Even if you happen to be touching the refrigerator when a wire electrified it, you are no longer the path of least resistance and would barely feel a shock. Why don't things like lamps, telephones, and radios have a third prong? If they're new, they're double insulated. In addition to the wire's insulation, there's a layer of plastic between you and a shock. If the insulation of the wire wears out because of something like vibration, the only thing that both you and it touch is the casing, which doesn't conduct electricity. Don't assume that an item is double insulated unless it's labeled as such. Older electronics and tools often were neither grounded nor double insulated, and you can get quite a shock from them.